Hey, okay, thumbnail. Shoot. Everyone pose. We can block this, right? Everyone pose. I'm on my couch, baby. Ah, uh -huh, psych. Oh, mother. Oh. <laughs> Mississippi. You can't. He caught on scrimmage before I said it, but it's still okay. He caught it. He caught it. He caught it. That's it. Oh, that was wow, seven he seconds. actually called that. Oh, yeah. He ain't oh, yeah. 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 Pro Era is the only officially licensed NFL game in virtual reality. And there are other games that come close to it, like the Patrick Mahomes experience, but they don't have the official logos and everything in that game. When NFL Pro Era first came out, I heard of it through an Instagram ad. A lot of people didn't know about this game. When I uploaded my first short, I swear every comment was, what is this game called? What's the game called? Game name question mark? And still, to this day, I get people asking me about, oh, can I join the league for this game, or what's this game called? Which is why I really want to talk about it. If you head over to their Discord, you'll see that their newest game, NFL Pro Era 2, hasn't been upgraded since April. No patches, no updates, no nothing. To get to the root of that problem, we have to start all the way back at the beginning. Before there was a PEFL, before I uploaded my first short on this game, so, let's go back in time. If you didn't know, Status Pro was co-founded by the former wide receiver Andrew Hawkins and VR entrepreneur Troy Jones. This company was born out of desire to leverage technology and to enhance the sports experience for both athletes and fans. Andrew Hawkins, after his NFL career, pursued an MBA from the Columbia University and began exploring opportunities in the tech and sports industries. Troy Jones, with a background in VR and AR technologies, had a shared vision of using immersive tech to revolutionize sports for training and fans. Together, they combined their expertise and experience to create Status Pro, aiming to bridge the gap between professional sports and cutting-edge technology their goal was to provide tools that could be used in training by athletes and also create an immersive experience for all the fans. And that led into the development of the first NFL Pro era. I'm going to skip a little bit over like the beginnings and the release of this game since it wasn't really that well known. There were a couple commercials that came out, but no one was really playing this game. However, this changed in about October 2022 when the PEFL was created. NFL Pro Era only lets you be a quarterback in their game modes. The whole point of this game was for you to be a quarterback. Like they had a whole bunch of game modes where you could practice accuracy and efficiency in your quarterback skills. Of course, their season mode was only quarterback. But people quickly realized if you go over to their free mode and load into a multiplayer lobby, you can play any game mode you want as long as you get it organized with everyone. You can play wide receiver, you can play tight end, you can play all the defensive positions, you can even kick field goals. This revolutionized the fan base of this game and since this game was so early and so young, it had so much, I, like, I can't even get into the potential it had. Like, It could have had its own official leagues, MLG, all of that. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here. And since we were in the very beginning, this game had so much potential. It had only been out for about a month and the fan base was buzzing around this, you know, community, whatever you want to call it. The PEFL has gone on for multiple seasons. You can find season 1 and 2 on my channel playlist. They are now in season 7, but recently things have changed. Whether it's the loss of steam or people didn't like the new rule changes, this community isn't as strong as it once was. That's why I wanted to make this video. First. I've met some of the best people through this game. While not everyone was great, most of the people I played with made this game fun. Most of the people I played with made each fake football game on a work night fun. I also want to say I respect the Status Pro team and all you guys accomplished. You guys gave me the ability to have a following and help me relax from real life with your game. But ever since Pro Era 2 was delayed, this game has gone downhill. Game night got the community going and was a good start, but people don't enjoy head-to-head -head like they enjoyed free play. Head-to-head -head is fun for a game or two against a friend, but Status Pro is focused on this mode instead of all their other aspects of the game. 
Even season mode is being neglected. Simple game modes like the Super Bowl, which have been in the game since day one, haven't been added. My poor man Shogun Leak over here is playing on regular Kansas City field than like the Las Vegas stadium because someone couldn't hit Control C, Control V. Like this is why it's hard for content creators to grow in this game because when you make a video called I'm playing in the Super Bowl, you're not actually playing in the Super Bowl, you're just playing a season game. All this to say, status pro, realize your fan base loves free play mode, not head to head. We want simple game modes like the Super Bowl or Pro Bowl to add an extra layer of fun to this game. I know the Pro Bowl isn't in this game, but just retexture a stadium or something and give the teams blue and red jerseys and then boom, you got a Pro Bowl. Or add Justin Jefferson, he's not even in the game, which is crazy to think of. He's a 99 in Madden, and he's not even in this game. And another thing, stick by your game all year. People still ask me what this game is called, and it's been a consistent top 20 game in the meta store for like the last two years. If you stuck by your game all year, releasing videos, ads, and shorts every day to get the word out, it would help tremendously. Get a team of content creators to make videos like I played the Super Bowl in VR or I played the Pro Bowl in VR. That could really grow the game and, and shit. I, I could get like an Avengers team going. Hit me up someone on the Status Pro team, I'll get your Avengers team of content creators going. So let me know details, but wow, that was that was a lot to say. I'm I, I have no other words. I, this game has kind of made me sad in the direction it's been going. Again, I hope they focus on free mode in the future. It looks like they're trending towards a Pro Era 3, which I know people didn't want, but looks like this game's going to be a yearly release. I don't know how that's possible. Again, this game's a top 20 game in the meta store, so I should probably shut my mouth. But I want this game to grow, I want this game to have a community, and I could see this game being as big as Madden one day. And it's a VR game, I, I don't know. Leave your ideas down in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace. So, this was just an idea because I've been really enjoying this game lately. But Big Ballers VR, I know, crazy title. They usually focus on basketball, which is why they have that name. But they recently came out with an American football mode. And hear me out again, Status Pro and Big Ballers, if they combined, if they took their American football mode and made their own like online organized football, I guess. Because the big problem with Big Ballers is the physics and everything's not there. But Pro Era has really good physics, but the problem with Pro Era is it doesn't have like a wide receiver mode, it doesn't have an online game mode that you can play against people, which Big Ballers has. Again, you do the math, you combine those equations, and then boom, you have a good game.